One question I get asked with a reasonable degree of frequency is whether or not you need a TV license to watch live YouTube channels or streamed YouTube content. So that's what I'm going to clear up in this video. So welcome back, I'm the Black Belt Barrister helping you to understand law and talking about TV licenses as I have in many other videos. Now the standard position is you need a TV license to watch or record live TV programmes or using BBC iPlayer. And this includes the plus one channels and any channels that have a minor delay or even a one hour delay. They are still considered to be live TV, whether you are watching it or recording it, this will mean that you need a TV license to legally watch those. But as I said, one of the common questions that comes up, even when watching my live streams, which I hold on Sundays, by the way, at 10 a.m. for at least an hour or so answering your questions, so make sure you subscribe for those. Do you need a TV license to watch these live streams on YouTube? Now, the answer is not entirely straightforward. As with many things in law, the answer is usually it depends. Now, in some situations, you won't need a TV license. So, for example, watching my live streams, you will not need a TV license. However, if you are watching live Sky News or Sky Sports, even if it's on YouTube, then you do need a TV license to legally watch those channels. So I'm going to talk a little bit about why this is and how you can make sure that you know whether or not you fall on the right side of this law when you are watching something on YouTube. In fact, I've done polls before and I've asked live questions before and lots of people have responded to say that you only pay for a TV license out of the pure fear that you are going to be prosecuted for falling foul of the legislation and watching TV or doing something that you shouldn't be doing without a license. So you pay for the license anyway, out of fear that you'll be prosecuted for this offence. But many of you may only use Netflix and YouTube and do not watch any television programmes that would mean that you require a TV license. So allow me to help you understand this a little bit more. So let me first of all say one thing absolutely clearly about YouTube and the TV license. You do not need a TV license to watch videos or clips on demand on YouTube. That means they're not live. That means they are pre-recorded, pre-launched, and you can watch them without a TV license and without worrying that you're breaking this legislation. And that goes even if it is a TV company like Sky who have pre-recorded clips on YouTube, you can watch those as long as they are on demand, served up by YouTube, and they are not live. And this is the real key here. And the second key is whether or not it is a TV company, because I am not a TV company. I have no plans to become a TV company. I am an individual content creator for the purposes of YouTube. Even if I am live on YouTube, I am not a TV company. So you do not need a TV license to watch me or anyone else like me who is also not a TV company. So both of these elements must be true for you to need a TV license to watch this kind of content on YouTube and require a TV license for it. First of all, it must be a live broadcast on YouTube. That means it is being broadcast live, it is not pre-recorded, it is not on demand and therefore pre-recorded and be watched on demand. And the second thing is it must be a TV program, which means it must be created by a TV company. But this is where it gets a little bit grey and in my view, perhaps deliberately so, but I'm going to blow the lid off that grey area and help you to understand it right now. Introducing Ofcom. Ofcom is the regulator for TV, radio and video on demand sectors and they deal with mobile phones, telecoms, postal services and everything else. But we are looking specifically at TV for the purposes of this video. As you can see on screen now, there is a list on Ofcom of TV broadcast licenses. This will tell you which companies have a TV license to broadcast TV for the purposes of the legislation. You can see here, obviously it has the BBC, it has their contact details, their website and their framework. You can go into each of these and you can look up various things that relate to each TV company. Likewise with Channel 3, you can look up their details, which is ITV Broadcasting Limited. You can also look up Channel 4, Channel 5 and other TV services, including local and multiplex license holders. Obviously this includes cable, digital, multiplex and local TV broadcasters. Taking a look at 
local broadcasters for a moment, you can see each of the regional TV broadcast companies listed on this page, and there are lots of them. Going back now to look at cable and satellite channels, you can see there is a huge list of TV channels here. Each of these are a TV program broadcasting company, and each of these you would require a TV license if they are broadcasting live TV that you watch or record for the purposes of the legislation. Likewise, with multiplex license holders, don't worry about what that means, but there are various different companies that have different TV licenses as well. Equally, for digital television, there's a whole list of companies which includes most of the Sky Channels, QVC and so on. Each of these have television licenses and if they are broadcasting live TV and you are watching it or recording it, then you need a TV license for the purposes of the legislation. But again, if these companies pre-record material and it is on demand, whether or not it's being watched on YouTube, if it is on demand, then you do not need a TV license for the purposes of the legislation. Other than, of course, the BBC iPlayer, because that was introduced as a bit of an exception. So I'm going to leave the link to Ofcom and this list of companies with TV licenses in the description below. So if you are worried about not having a TV license when you're watching something on YouTube, Hopefully this will shed some light on when you are supposed to have one and not supposed to have one. So just to reiterate once more, you do not need a TV license if you only ever watch on demand, which is pre-recorded and ready to watch or catch up programs other than, of course, the BBC iPlayer, because that was introduced as a bit of an exception. But if you never watch live TV programs or record live programs, whether that is on a TV, a laptop, YouTube or wherever, then you do not need a TV license. So I hope this has helped to clear up some of that grey area on whether streaming online requires a TV licence or not. Please give the video a like if you found that useful. Share it with somebody that you think needs to understand this more fully. And as always, thank you for watching.